Hi everyone, I'm Allison Hurst. I'm the Associate Curator at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth and I'm the curator of the Modern's exhibition series called Focus. Each year as part of the Focus exhibition series, we present three solo exhibitions of artists that are emerging to mid-career, but all artists that have not been seen in our area and that are artists that are not in our permanent collection. Uh, we've acquired some really great works through this exhibition series, including works by artists Kehinde Wiley, Lorna Simpson, Thomas DeMond, amongst many, many others. Uh, each year, each artist has a work that's available for acquisition that is then voted on by a group of members called the Director's Council. So really, each season, only one work becomes part of the museum's permanent collection. Last year, the Director's Council chose Injadeka Akunyili Crosby's Dwell Me We, which is a work I wanted to discuss with you all today. Injadeka moved from Nigeria to the United States at the age of 16, and her work really, in general, reveals aspects of living between two cultures um, and what really goes into her hybrid sense of identity. In her mixed media paintings on paper, such as the Modern's work, she employs a variety of materials, including acetone photo transfers, colored pencil, fabric, photo collage, um, all comprised into a single work. This layering really metaphorically references the complex layering that goes into one's sense of self and identity. Her images are typically interior scenes, they are gr and they are grounded in traditions of art history. Her subject matter and use of patterning directly recalls post-impressionist Edouard Voyard's domestic scenes, but of course her use of collage and photo transfer is indebted to Robert Rauschenberg, who's another artist that's in the Modern's collection. Akinuli, though, infuses her interiors with images that are uniquely personal and political. Um, these images range from Nigerian photo, uh, Nigerian photo magazines, fashion magazines, um, personal family photo albums, and pictures of black civil rights leaders, which really merges by national references and traditions in her work. For Dwell Me We, the artist focused on her everyday life in the Los Angeles, which is where she calls home today. Um, in the work, you see an isolated figure, which is a self-portrait of the artist, sitting at a dining room table and appearing deep in thought. Her pattern dress is from a contemporary Nigerian um, fashion designer, while her coffee cup has a logo of a local Los Angeles coffee chain. Um, the furniture is also distinctly Western. There's a console in the background that uh, comes from the company West Elm, and the chairs are from Ikea. The dog that's in the foreground laying on top of a dog bed is something that the artist discussed as being uniquely American to her. Pets are not very common in Nigeria, so by putting a pet dog in this work, it, it really signals the that this is a depiction of Western life in particular. The floor of this work, is, as well as the walls, are just embedded with hundreds of images. Um, again, these acetone photo transfers that I discussed earlier that include pictures of African-American luminaries, particularly from America, um, that range from Angela Davis to Beyonce and Michelle Obama. Colin Kaepernick is also seen in, in bobblehead form, and he is uh, on top of the West Elm console in the background. Dwell Me We is uh, part of a pair of works that was in Akinuli Crosby's Focus Exhibition Counterparts that was at the Modern in 2018. Uh, there were six works total in that show, and they all were mirrored images. Three works depicted Nigerian life, and three works depicted American life. Uh, Dwell Me We obviously is the American counterpart, but the work Dwell Also Ebi uh, was also in the exhibition and featured the same art, you know, self-portrait of the artist. Um, but the, in that work, she's in a particularly Nigerian interior um, instead of photos of African-American uh, heroes such as Angela Davis. There are depictions of her family in Nigeria as well as uh, those, you know, celebrities and, and 
luminaries from Nigeria are included in that work as well. Um, each work, you know, depicted an aspect of domestic life, be it Nigeria or America. Um, and they, all of the works were facing one another. So you could really kind of feel the, um, the comparisons between the two spaces. Um, in that Dwell Also EB, uh, it's important to note that it, the background was comprised of commemorative fabric that had to do with Njedeka's uh, mother's Senate run in Nigeria. So again, you know, the works are deeply personal, but also completely relatable. Um, you know, it, it really delves deep into her experience living between two cultures, between Nigeria and America, but really broadly, this, this really speaks to um, the immigrant experience in general. Um, this is a work that we are so thrilled to have in our collection. We anticipate it being out in the galleries uh, a lot, and hopefully you all can come and see it in person soon. Thank you so much, and take care.